everybody welcome back ruben texas all water fishing and um yeah we're gonna go fishing today we're gonna see we're gonna target trout it's winter time but we had some strong winds in some areas i normally fish so i did a little quick audible called a buddy of mine charles dirty bay fishing and we're gonna fish a uh, area that he knows a spot that he knows because a lot of times when you have these cold fronts come through you have these strong winds you have to look and see which direction the wind is blowing what areas would be more favorable favorable to you weatherwise and uh and there really wasn't one unless i wanted to go further 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 down south but we did change things up and uh yeah here we are you know nice cool morning water temp is water temp is 51 degrees and you can see big nice overcast day so wish me luck welcome back if you're new to the channel please subscribe push the bell notification we'll let you know the next time i upload a video and um let's get fishing So we come over here and we ran. There's a pretty big group of seagulls over here that are diving on bait. You see them diving and working. You need to get over there and get on your horse. Get to that spot. Because the big ball of bait and the seagulls are diving. Underneath that big ball is trout and reds. Maybe in a flounder. But there's fish underneath that area. That they're diving on you can really get into the fish and really really tear them up there we go Nice trout. So we can get him up here. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh, it's a nice trout. You want to? You can. Okay. I'm gonna put him right here in front. It's a nice trout right here. Ugh. Got him on the wedge tail. Nice guy. Get him off real fast. We'll measure him real fast. First, kind of broke up. Sometimes you give him time to relax and calm down. The the bait will come back, and they they're just still fishing. There's still fish here. The bait's still here too. So we're gonna measure this guy. He's gonna be at right at 18, just touching 18. All right. See, so the fish they left over here. They popped back over here. Not the fish. Sorry, the birds left over here pop back up over here and uh this is where this is where the bait is this is where the fish are gonna be so just trying to hurry up and hustle and come over here I'm gonna cast in here the birds kind of hanging out right here we'll see if we can get one of these guys Hanging out. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, he got off. I didn't realize he was there. Dang it. Just kind of let it fall straight to the bottom. Sometimes they're down there in that mud. Say we're about three and a half feet, so you got a little area you can work and try to get a bait on, try to get a speck on, a fish on. 
It is cold though, man. My hands are cold. There it goes. There's another one. Another hit. Missed that guy. Yeah. So, soft, subtle hit. A lot of times, the trout would do that during winter time. They'll just kind of lip it. And we're going to commit to biting it. Unless they're feeding aggressive. And right now, they're feeding aggressive. But sometimes it's that real cold bite. You got to give them like half a second or so and let them be able to suck your suck the bait up but cast over here might be shrimp might do better if I put on a white lure or a shrimp style lure there we go got that one He's a little smaller than the last one, but we got him. Another trout feels like. Oh yeah, nice trout. Come on, guy. Come on. Oh, I missed him. I missed the net again. Dang it! What are you doing? Turn around. Go ahead into the net. There you go. That's how you do it. Then go tail into the net. We got him again with the with the wedge tail. Salty head Jake head wedge tail. Doing it. Doing the trick. Let me pop this one up real fast. See where he's at. And he is 17 and a half. So nice. 17 and a half and speckler we're gonna keep rocking keep rocking keep rolling yeah 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 i know i got you i'm sorry you know just like that they're gone you know they they're not over there they're kind of over here now birds kind of moved off a little bit i still think i see them diving over here so i'm gonna try to run over here it's hard chasing <laughs> it's hard chasing birds in your kayak because you know you're you're putting forth all the energy it's much e easier in the boat because it's you know it's you have an engine it's motorized whatever motorized kayak it's easier it's quicker all right birds diving winter bite take two i love this stuff you have no idea my i don't care how many times i do this my heart is racing I tell myself, calm down, Ruben. Calm down, Ruben. This, this is why I do what I do. Love it. There's a hit. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he got off too. Oh my gosh, Ruben. Ah, oh, that's three I missed. That was my limit right there. It's the third one I missed. Oh my gosh, Ruben, come on. Uh, just ran at me just a little bit right when I reached for my net and uh, that one got off. But dang it, that was a good one. That was another one. Probably about the same size as these other ones, but it was definitely a slot. So there's three that I missed. The other ones were more like solid, solid hits. They really didn't um they didn't commit like that one. That one really committed. We're gonna get them, we're gonna get them. There we go. Got one. Oh, nice red. Nice red. Yeah. Uh, it might be undersized. We'll see. Uh, there we go. Nice see our little guy. He, yeah, he's going to be small. Right in the corner of the mouth. Salty head. Oh. Salty head, jig head, ingrid bait, wedge tail. He's gonna come in at oh, 21. Nose on the board. 21. Twenty-one with the 21 with the pinch tail. Oh, right you got him? Nice. Ooh, 
You got another one. There we go. Double up. Double hook up. Double hook up. <laughs> Another red. Mine hadn't either. You're trying to get behind me. Uh. 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 Mine, mine is not a red. Mine is a nice big old trout. So I get this one up. Oh, that's an awesome trout. Oh, that's an awesome, awesome trout. Yeah. Oh. Let me get out of the way. I don't want to. I don't want to drift over where we need to be casting. Come on, guy. Oh, dang. My line just broke. Well, I'm glad they did it in my hand instead of on a fish. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice guy. You know, my line has been compromised in one of the oysters a couple times, so it might have, uh, that might have been what did it a minute ago. 21 and a quarter, baby. Over 20. Yeah. Over 20. And get this. My line broke. Sweet. Don't get any luckier than that. There we go. Another red. It's three reds, same spot. There's just a school of reds over there, so don't want to pull myself back into that way. Let them pull them up and get them out of here. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh, dang, just missed them. There we go, got him now. All right, a little fat guy, a little stump. He's stiff though, man. He is chilly, chilly. Oh, another slot. Look at this, 21 and almost 21 and a quarter. Almost a cookie cutter from the last one. 21 and a quarter. The last one was about the same. About 21 and a quarter as well. Yeah, hold on, I'm hung up. Yeah. There we go. Oh, a fish got it. Got a, fish. a fish came off that hang up. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Oh, that is sweet. As soon as it popped off, a rig picked it up. Uh, it's an undersized red, but still, it's still funny. Oh, it's a red, yeah. That is nice. That's awesome. Come on. Take a look at him. Right there. He was, he was curious, see? You're curious. You're like, what is that moving? Why was that jiggling? And, uh, and yeah, that just happened, buddy. Sorry. Is that Ingrid? Yeah, Ingrid. Yeah, that wedge tail on it. Yeah. All right, everybody. So that's gonna do it. You know, I came out today with Captain Charles. What's up, guys? Dirty Bay fishing, and uh, you know, if you're interested and want to do a trip like this, I know Charles does guided trips on his boat. He also does guided trips on the kayak. His information will be in the description section below. I appreciate Charles. It was a little windy. Some of the normal spots that I go to. So I reached out to Charles, and Charles says, "Hey, you know what? I got a great spot for us." There's a lot of winter trout. Hopefully you can catch some nice reds. And we did that. We had a good time. Yep. We had a really good time. It's fun out here catching up with Charles. But, you know, so check him out. Check out his channel. Check him out and see if you want to do a trip with him. Book one today. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Until next time.
hopefully catch us hooking up. Thanks.